Alright, so today we're going to be converting shape files from MSTS, um, turning them to OBJs, and then putting them in the prop to mesh in Garrett's mod. So, first off, you're going to need Microsoft Train Simulator. Um, I mean, you can find downloads for that pretty much anywhere, just Google it. And you got to install it, make sure you figure out where its uh, file path is. And um, I just let it install the default location. And then you're going to need some tools, mainly sh this uh, shape converter and this uh, shape file manager, manager and a shape file viewer if you want to look at the uh, shape files, see what you're uh, converting. So, right here, uh, this is where you get the shape converter. You just download this one. Um, I believe that's one. Uh, this one or that one. This is just a source code, don't download this. And then you'll need the shape file manager. And this is just, this will let us uh, basically uncompress the archives so you can um, convert them. And more than archives, but we'll do that. Get the shape file manager, manager and then the shape file uh, viewer. If you want to look at the model, it's going to look like this. And the shapefile viewer. Download those. Install them. First off, you're going to run, want to run the um, shapefile converter. You want to go to settings, options, then browse. And then my output folder is on my desktop. Shows you right there. And then the um, root directory for MSTS. You just browse and you uh, set it your the default well, the directory for MSTS. Um, this is mine. So then, once we got that set up, I'm to close that out one now. Go to um, well, first off, you're gonna want to get a hold of a model, um, any kind of shape file model. Um, there's plenty of web websites. Uh, I can't name them right now. Like I think it's Railroad Sim, something. Uh, any shape file, any MSTS locomotive that you download or Rolling Stock will come with a shape file. And I have a bunch of shape files, a bunch of things that I've downloaded. Um, so uh, we'll just. Oh yeah, this is this is what the most of the folders look like. Um, really, the only files you'll need, sorry, by file type, is the, uh, the S file. These are the shape files. These are the ones that have the models in them and that you'll have to uncompress. So what we'll do is we'll just um, is this one. Um, the problem with prop to mesh is that there is a uh, size of file you can import it, and the nice thing about MSTS models is that they're like super low poly, um, which you know they don't look that great. But hey, uh, beggars can't be choosers. So we're gonna basically just just find the shape file you want. Oops, that's my phone. And we're gonna take that file, copy it. And we're gonna. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. So we have the shape file. We're gonna do go into the shape file manager. And uh, go to. Oops. Go to desktop where I have it stored. And right here, options, uncompress. Gonna compress it. The file is gonna get bigger because it's uncompressed. Uh, and then we're gonna. Don't really. I don't think we need to use that anymore. Let me shape converter. File. Add file. I just go to desktop. Double click it. Add selected. Boom. Convert all. Let's convert.
converting it. All right. So now it's been converted. Uh, it's a 3DS file, which you can open it up in uh, 3DS Max uh, if you have that, or Blender. But the problem is, is that the latest versions of Blender do not support the uh, 3DS files. And so I went and downloaded Blender 2.79, which you can get on their official website. And um, open up Blender 2.79. And just get rid of all of this. So, file, uh, import, uh, import a 3DS file, desktop, right here. Um, a lot of the MSTS files are kind of, uh, they do this, <laughs> and you might need to do some piecing together. So let's see here. This is this is not a good mall. I should have tested this before uh, before I went and uh, tried this out. Uh, okay, I'm not I'm not going to use this. I don't feel like showing how to do that. All right, so got my shape file right here, and we're going to open it up in Blender 2.79. Get rid of all this stuff. File import dot three ds on my desktop. Import it. Um, now most of the MSTS files, the shape files that you import, they're gonna look like this. Everything's gonna be kind of exploded, and it's pretty much just gonna be up to you to uh, figure out how to fix this. Um, I just kind of go at it piece by piece. I'll go and uh, delete stuff, but so we don't. We're not going to really edit anything. Blend 2.79 because 2.79 it's it's old and we don't really need it for anything else. So we're going to export it as a uh, as an OBJ. We're going to just spit it out on desktop. I think I put that in my documents. Whoops. So to go where I exported it at. Right there. Will be a .mtl file on OBJ. You don't really need the MTL, so you can delete that. Um, so we have the OBJ, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Blender, and I use I installed this on Steam, so it's whatever the Steam version is updated to. Now we're gonna file import and import an obj it's going to be on our desktop title the obj import it shift c it's going to center us right on this so first thing before you do anything just tap s and then type negative one enter so that uh, basically all of the msts models are extremely small um, and they're inverted, they're like upside down and inside out. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. And then what you're gonna want to do, uh, the best way that I've found of getting the scale really fast or the most accurate way, is we're gonna also import another thing. Uh, we're gonna import some RSG track from Gary's mod. Um, I'm not quite sure where this one came from, what pack this came from. Uh, it was just given to me by somebody, but you can also use the prop to mesh tool to copy. You can prop to mesh like this model in Gary's mod, and tell prop to mesh to create an OBJ of it, and you take that OBJ, and then uh, just using Gary or using Blender. Um, so what we're gonna do have this model. We're gonna press S. And we're just gonna kind of drag up, or hold up. Now we're going to select all of this because what's really important is we need these wheels kind of uh, they're going to what we're, we're going to they're going to be what we're going to use to just kind of oops I am failing today okay press s 
scale it up. And move up. Let's see how it's looking. It's still a little small. And we're gonna make it bigger and bigger and bigger until about right. I'm gonna say right there. Um, I do have values uh, that I have saved, which I will look up right now. Let's see here. So the values that I've found that kind of be seem to be mostly precise is let's have a look right here. A uh, negative. Uh, three hundred ninety-three thousand point seven hundred and sixty-nine, and those values just kind of seem to be right on, on the point. So three hundred ninety-three point seven six nine, and that, I mean, it just kind of seems to be perfect. So, assuming we've got the scale of this locomotive uh, correct, we really don't need the track anymore. And we can also go and delete all of this other stuff because we just want the body of the locomotive right now. So we'll go through, delete everything. Um, and that seems to be pretty much. Oh, <laughs> that's all the detail, which is also another thing. Um, so we'll select the entire thing right here. And we'll bring it down to oops. Bring it down to about right. I mean that that's fine, that's about the center. Maybe a little bit higher. I don't know. There. Okay. So now you've got your model kind of cleaned up. You can do whatever editing you want to do to in here, add or remove stuff. You're gonna need to cut windows into it too because pretty much all of the windows and stuff on most MSTS models uh, it's just a texture and a lot of the time especially on these really low poly models um, there isn't even like an indent or anything for the windows so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to make some windows for it now what you're gonna do is you're gonna file Remember, and since we have it all at the scale and everything this is basically what we need everything that we've Need to do to it, we have done to it. And now we'll export it as an OBJ. Let's call it sd40.obj. Save it to the desktop on my documents this time. Export. And now we don't need to be in Blender anymore, so we're going to go to Steam, Gary's Mod, Browse Local Files, open up File Manager right here. Gary's mod, data, I'm going to find the P2M folder right here. These are some of my uh, OBJs that I've imported. And now we're going to, there's the SD40 OBJ. Let's get the MTL file is pretty much useless. Throw the, the SD40 OBJ into the P2M folder, prop to mesh. We're going to go into Gary's mod. So here we are. Um, we need the prop to mesh tool. So what we do, just spawn that on the ground right there. And we just hold down C, right click on it, open editor, OBJ, data, uh, SD40, add the OBJ, and then it pops up down here. And you're going to click uh, render inside and invert normals. You don't have to do render inside, but I prefer render inside because some stuff's kind of weird on these models and it just helps. Right, click confirm. Okay, so we'll just drag this outside. Here's the SD40. And, um, I mean, this is it. This is the file imported and in the Gary's Mod through Prop Mesh. Um, and everybody else can see it, but you're the only one who has it. And there's no way to individually color this and it doesn't have its own hitboxes. This is pretty much 
the prop. And so what you want to do, uh, go to color it, or, you know, oops, it's invisible now. Uh, we'll use, uh, let's see here, submaterial. There. And it just colors the entire thing. In order to do, like, paint schemes and stuff, you're going to have to uh, cut the model up into smaller pieces in Blender so you can have, like, stripes and stuff. But anyways, that's, that's it. And, uh, well, thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Um, I'm not encouraging people to steal and redistribute models, um, so just putting that out. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.